Here, we'll show you how to find the initial concentration of a base, given the pH and the Kb of a solution of the base. We're given that the weak base dimethylamine, CH32NH, has a Kb value of 5.1 times 10 to the negative fourth. We're told that a particular solution of dimethylamine is found to have a pH of 11.9435 and we're asked to determine the initial concentration of dimethylamine in that solution. Here are the general steps we can take to solve this problem. We will need the hydroxide ion concentration and we're given the pH. So we can start by converting the pH to pOH and then to hydroxide ion concentration. Like all problems involving weak acids or bases, we write out the equilibrium equation. Because dimethylamine is a neutral weak base, the reaction is called ionization rather than hydrolysis. Because we're doing calculations involving a weak base, we create an ice table below the equilibrium equation. We can then use this ice table, along with the Kb expression for dimethylamine, to determine the initial concentration of this base. We're given the pH and we need the hydroxide ion concentration. So we start by converting pH to pOH and then to hydroxide ion concentration. The pH is 11.9435. The pOH is 14 minus the pH, which is 14 minus 11.9435. Don't worry about significant figures at this point. We will use these numbers as they are and round off later. 14 minus 11.9435 comes out to 2.0565. The concentration of hydroxide ion is 10 to the negative pOH, which is 10 to the negative 2.0565. This comes out to 0 0.00878. Because the Kb has two significant figures, the final answer to our problem will need to have two significant figures. But we'll use this number for now, expressed as three significant figures, and round off later. So we can now state that the hydroxide ion concentration is 0 0.00878 molar. And we'll make a note of that up here. Now, we will write the equilibrium equation for the ionization of dimethylamine. We start by writing CH32NH aqueous. In its ionization equation, it's added to water. The base CH32NH will accept a proton from water and produce the conjugate acid CH32NH2 plus and a hydroxide ion. Because CH32NH is a weak base, we add an ice table under this equation, like this. As always, we'll leave out water because it's a liquid. Now we're ready to fill in the row for initial concentrations. What we're actually trying to find out in this problem is the initial concentration of dimethylamine. So that's our unknown. So we'll let x equal the initial concentration of dimethylamine. And the initial concentrations of CH32NH2 plus and OH minus are both equal to zero. We have now finished filling in the row for initial concentrations. We know the equilibrium concentration of OH minus is 0 0.00878 molar. So we'll add it down here in the equilibrium concentration row. The hydroxide ion concentration started out as zero and ended up as 0 0.00878 molar. Therefore, as the reaction went from its initial state to an equilibrium state, the concentration of OH- increased by 0 0.00878 molar. We can use this, along with the coefficients in the equation, to find the changes in the concentrations of the other two species. Because the concentration of the product, OH- increased, this means the reaction moved to the right as it approached equilibrium. Therefore, the concentration of the other product, CH32NH2+, also increased, and the concentration of the reactant, CH32NH, decreased. 
the coefficients on CH32, NH2+, and OH- are both 1. So we can say that the concentration of CH32, NH2+, increased by 0 0.00878 molar, just like the concentration of OH-. And because the coefficient on the reactant, CH32NH, is also 1, like the coefficients on the CH32NH2+, and OH-, we can say that the concentration of CH32NH decreased by 0 0.00878 molar. So we have now finished filling in the row for changes in concentration. And we can now finish the row for equilibrium concentrations. The equilibrium concentration of CH32NH2 plus is 0 plus 0 0.00878 molar, which is 0 0.00878 molar. The equilibrium concentration of CH32NH is X minus 0 0.00878, which we'll write simply as X minus 0 0.00878 here. We now have the equilibrium concentrations of all three species. In order to solve for X, we substitute these into the KB expression for dimethylamine. We use the equilibrium equation to write the KB expression for the weak base, CH32NH. It's the concentration of CH32NH2 plus times the concentration of OH minus over the concentration of CH32NH. Substituting 0 0.00878 in for the concentrations of CH32NH2 plus and OH minus, we get that their product is 0 0.00878 squared. And we'll substitute X minus 0 0.00878 in for the concentration of CH32NH. So now we have the expression, the Kb of dimethylamine equals 0 0.00878 squared over x minus 0 0.0878. Now we'll rearrange this equation to solve for x minus 0 0.0878. We get x minus 0 0.0878 equals 0 0.0878 squared over the Kb of dimethylamine. We'll rewrite this equation up here. We'll substitute 5.1 times 10 to the negative fourth in for the Kb of dimethylamine. 0 0.00878 squared divided by 5.1 times 10 to the negative fourth is equal to 0 0.15115. Or we can simplify this and say that x minus 0 0.00878 is equal to 0 0.15115. In order to isolate x, we add 0 0.00878 to both sides of this equation. The negative 0 0.00878 and positive 0 0.00878 on the left side add up to zero. So they'll cancel out, and we're left with x equals 0 0.15115 plus 0 0.00878, which we'll write here. Adding these gives us a total of 0 0.15993. The given value for Kb has two significant figures, so we round 0 0.15993 to two significant figures, and we get 0 0.16. In the ice table, we had defined X as the initial concentration of dimethylamine. So we can say that the initial concentration of dimethylamine equals X equals 0 0.16 molar, or more simply, the initial concentration of dimethylamine equals 0.16 molar. So we've now answered the question this problem was asking. The initial concentration of CH32NH, or dimethylamine, was 0.16 molar. <laughs>